Uh, late night design. Late night design check. Can we do a late night design? I think we can. Um, you know, 1.40 a.m., should be sleeping, can't sleep, gotta design. So here's my idea. Let's do something with this object right here. And let's restrict ourselves so that the only thing we can do to it is Booleans using this object right here. Okay. I can't add any new objects to the scene. I can't change the geo on either of these objects. I can only Boolean this guy into this guy. I can Boolean it however I want to. I can rotate this. I can scale this. I can apply, you know, different mirrors to this. I can array it if I want to. So I can, I can use modifiers on this and I can use transform tools and I can duplicate or instance it and I can Boolean it and that's it. Can't do anything else. No new objects in the scene. Um, I think this is going to be kind of a fun drill. Let's get right into it. Let's start making some big changes. As usual, we're going to be trying to work primary, secondary, tertiary. Um, our base shape here is reasonably nice. Oop, I should probably sharpen that before I go on. Make sure this is like low. But uh, even so, I want to keep this object reasonably large to begin with. We'll start scaling it down, you know, as we go through this process. But to begin with, I want to use it to make some big changes. This is going to be kind of fun because if you guys have watched my previous videos, you know I don't tend to do anything like this. I tend to, uh, maybe for tertiary details, I'll make one object, instance it around a bunch. But this is going to be a kind of a unique restriction, at least for me. And I'm looking forward to seeing how it works. Is it going to be cool? Is it going to be cool or, you know, are we going to get a neat result with it or is it going to be kind of wacky? I think it'll definitely be more challenging than I will expect, but I have high expectations, so that will, uh, that's pretty likely, right? Let's maybe take advantage of some rotation. It's going to be interesting to see if this little nub, uh, oops, <laughs> it'll be interesting to see if this little nub that I have sticking off is hard to work with or not hard to work with. I tried to model this operand piece so that I could use symmetry on it to get as much variety as possible. So no corner of it is exactly the same. Um, these are kind of similar, but you can see the side is angled. This one isn't. Uh, we've got interior bevels on both, but they're different widths. Uh, this is a different treatment from this. And this side, of course, has this piece sticking out, which also has different bevel treatments and stuff on it. So I'm kind of banking on, I'm hoping we get a lot of variety out of that. But man, I'm excited to find out. I think this is going to be very fun and very mentally engaging. So I hope my commentary is able to keep up its usual high quality during this uh, little drill here. You know, so many things have drills. If you're a basketball player, you have drills, right? You can practice uh, dribbling. Uh, you can practice uh, shooting the ball, uh, big sports guy. But you know, if you're into shooting, there's all kinds of drills you can do, you know, draw from retention. You can shoot uh, with snap caps in your house 500 times a night, get better at uh, all kinds of things that way. But with game art, it's kind of harder to come up with drills, I think, because it just takes so much longer to do everything. Kind of a complex skill. Would you all agree we have a bit of a complex skill? So I was thinking about this because somebody asked me in a, uh, I don't know, DM or on Discord or something. They were asking me, people always say you should practice the fundamentals, but how do you do that? Because they know the fundamentals, right? 70-30 layering, depth, etc. But they were like, how do I practice these exactly? Because people always say you should practice them. How do you practice them? And I was thinking about that, and my answer to them that I gave was that you should uh, do a lot of small projects. Don't do a big project that'll take 20 plus hours. That's good for your portfolio. You should eventually do that kind of thing. 
Um, but when you're just practicing, do very small projects like sketches that you can just do a lot of in a short amount of time. Ideally, one or far more per sitting. You know, and uh, <clears throat> you do a bunch of those till you get comfortable with whatever it is that you're practicing. And once you're comfortable with it, then you do those big projects that get you the renown and that impress people. But don't spend 30 hours on a project when you're still learning the basics. You know, spend the 30 hours once you've got the basics down. That was the advice I gave him. But I thought about it some more and I was thinking like, maybe there is, maybe there are ways that we could practice things. And that's how I got to this. I was thinking like, what if we just restricted the modeling aspect of it so that you do very little modeling and all you're doing is design, but you're still in 3D. And uh, you know, that's how we ended up here. You guys get my thought process there? I think it's like wicked smart and incredibly innovative, but is anybody else doing this kind of thing? Is anybody else coming up with drills? Let me know in the comment section if you have a, if you have drills that we can do. If you have ideas for drills. I'd love to do more of this kind of thing. Because this is already looking so cool. Look at this. Look at this. So nice. I might be a little too positive. You know, because it's, uh, it's 1.45 a.m. As we all know, artists get more high energy the later it is. Kind of a paradoxical effect. We all know it's true, guys. But... Anyway, as I'm rattling on about that stuff, just trying to add, you know, kind of hunting for big plane spots, wondering how I can break them up. Oh, what's going on here? Why is this flashing? I think this is just our camera. Yeah, it is. That's the, uh, so this was on 0.01, and I believe that was because of this cavity effect. Oh, no. Just some kind of z-clipping. Well, whatever. But that's the fix. If you get this kind of flickering effect, if you can even see this on YouTube, just change your clip start to something closer. And uh, there you go. Take care of it till you zoom out way much again. Um, anyway. So I'm starting to break this into panels. Doing still kind of the... I guess we're in secondary shape stuff, but it's still very big picture. We're not working on uh, small areas yet. This is actually kind of surprisingly fluid so far. I thought this might be harder, but it is not. So far, this is quite fun. I'm able to just kind of ramble while doing this. Which is a good sign. It means it's comfortable. Though I wonder if that's a bad sign. Maybe it shouldn't be comfortable. Am I learning anything if it's comfortable? I think it is. This is a good idea. I'm only second guessing myself because it's early morning. But you know what? It's fun to think about like how do I, because like I see a shape and I want to do something to it, but I can't just, normally I would just throw in a box and start like stretching it around, get it into position, apply it. But I have to like think at a different uh, level because I have to, this is my only tool that I can use. Kind of liking that aspect. I don't know why that started having a... Is that always like that, this whole video? I'm not sure. Maybe it was. I don't know if that actually matters or not. Very fun restriction so far. I'm hoping this will provoke some like lateral thinking in exactly that way. And so far, yes, I'd say so far it is. Let's see, could we do anything like... I'm trying to think if we could do anything really, really dramatic or weird. It doesn't look as dramatic as I thought it would. Huh. Okay. I'm 
Don't like that. Okay, yeah, that's kind of cool. I like this shape. I don't, this feels like weird to me, but maybe we can do some more with it that would make it feel better. I like this a lot though. It's like wide, thin, wide. It's a little half and half, but I don't want to move that. No. Oh, whoa, that's a totally different thing. How much lower can I? Okay. Okay. Sorry guys, this isn't great commentary. I'm just saying okay a bunch. This is fun though. This is a. Uh... I'm going back into like previous operands here, seeing if there's a better setup for the current one I'm working on. Uh, how can I explain what I'm trying to do? I like this. I like what's going on here. Um, nothing looks really like pinched or acute, but the problem is over here we got this going on. Can't find an easy fix for it, but this kind of, it helps to fix the 50-50 that we had going on before. Now it's like one, two, three. They're still a little even, but I think it's looking better because if I get rid of these stupid axes, just everything. Um, I think from this view, it doesn't look so bad because this is really thin, this is very thick, and this is like kind of, it's t about the same, but it feels less of an impression than that. Um, so I don't know, I think I just gotta, I don't like this chip here, but I think I have to solve that with another Boolean. I think I cannot, uh, there's nowhere else I could put that division Boolean that I like that uh, doesn't have that issue, or some other issue that I like less. So. Let's just uh, get something else in here. There we go. Yeah, this will work, I think. Working with this on global because I'm rotating all this stuff so much, it's just gonna confuse me if I leave it on local, for sure. Okay, yeah, that's looking pretty cool. Let's do some work on this bottom section. It's feeling a little bit unloved. Maybe we can take advantage of these big angular things. Hmm. Do you want to try that? Whoa. Whoa. That's weird. Might have to put this in exact. Uh. Which shouldn't be happening. Wonder why I can't clip through the bottom there. Um, I think I might be missing something. Let me just pause this and see if I can figure this out. Uh, okay, I got it working. I pretty much just dragged the whole bottom of this up. I don't know exactly what was going wrong there, but I'm just gonna leave it because this is working. Um, technically, I just broke the rules, but it was for a, I was having some kind of glitch I couldn't figure out. The Booleans were not cutting through the bottom there. So I think this is more in keeping with the spirit of the challenge, guys. I believe in the spirit of the law. I don't believe in the letter of the law. If you ever call me out on some kind of technical reason, I'm just not gonna be sympathetic. I believe in the spirit of the law. I have, I have a biblical view on it. Do you guys get that reference? I'm making references. Guys, it's late at night. I'm not, I'm a little off. I'm throwing off uh, weird vibes. You guys get it though, we're all artists here. 
Who would watch this that wasn't an artist? I don't think anybody would. Artists watch this. I'm an artist's artist, you know? Like Norm MacDonald for comedians. What an arrogant thing to say. Anyway, I'm going to start going to work on these edges. I think we got a lot of nice big secondary shapes in here. I'm really liking the overall feel of it. I might still chip away at some of them. But uh, I think I feel comfortable with this basic layout. Don't think I'm going to make any major changes going forward. Maybe a few, but I think uh, I'm ready to start chipping away at edges like we just started doing there and adding depth to this piece. Which honestly, at that point in the design, I feel like it's gonna work. If I'm at this point in design, I feel confident. Early on, I'm always like, am I gonna find interesting big shapes on this? Or is this gonna be like, you know, sometimes I try to record these and I've thrown a few away. And not just cause I'm saying wild stuff, but because like the design itself, I'm just not finding something good. You know what I mean? Which that's part of the job. And with these longer ones, like this is going to be a longer one, I think. We're at 15 minutes. Um, I do try to show that. Like, I don't just cancel as soon as I run into a problem. Cancel the recording, I mean. Uh, I try to keep it going because I think working through problems is, like, some of the most valuable stuff I could show on here. Because I'm sure there's people watching that, like... I hope this doesn't sound arrogant, but they see me go through this and they're like, that's cool. And then they go try it themselves and they don't know... They can't get to the same point or they're not happy with what they're doing and they give up on it and they're like, I don't, even though I watched them do it, I don't get it. And um, so I try to leave in when I'm searching for an answer to something. I only give up on the recording if it's like really throwing me off and I'm just, I think I could just, uh, you know, start over and do better basically. But oh, what was the point I was making? This one's going well. I can't even remember what the point I was making was because this one is not, not in that category of work. <laughs> late night, guys. It's been a late night. I should be asleep right now. But I'm glad I'm not, because this is like a really good uh, use of time, actually. Because I think it's going well. I might do more of this kind of thing in the future, actually. I feel like this is a good... A good uh, when you think about shape language, so much of it is using the same kind of angles and shapes in different parts of the design at different scales. And I feel like this is just going to be a natural way to end up with that without even... Uh, not without trying, because you are, you're consciously doing work here, but without having to worry about the consistency aspect, more just having to worry about the design fundamental aspect. I hope I'm saying stuff that makes sense. I'm going to listen back to this before I re uh, upload it, just in case. Just in case I'm totally off, but I don't think so. I think this is uh, going well. Enough about how it's going. Let's just focus on the design, right? So I'm just adding in some like depth, trying to get some plane changes here. I feel like it's looking quite nice. The bottom... I'm probably just not going to worry that much about because the render will probably be like this. But I also, I like how the back is going too. This is a, a very cool set of shapes. we got the round stuff, the hard stuff. There's a nice contrast to it. we got a nice like 70, 30. Um, even the division down here, we could easily develop this out, I feel like. <sighs> Should this even be the front? Should this be the front? I think either way. It'd be fine. Maybe it's, I wonder if maybe it's easier to develop more sides of an object quickly. We're only at, what, 20 minutes? That's pretty quick. Maybe I should do this more. Maybe this should be part of my workflow. But I'm getting meta again. Let's, uh, let's keep it concrete. Let's focus on this design right in front of our faces. We want to do this. Kind of like it. Yeah, I like it because it shortens this relative to this. The thing that puts me off is it's kind of a random angle type situation where we're up vertical here and then this and then this and it's like just pick one. 
but uh oh my god what a mess i cannot find a single operand in here this is one downside i guess is like picking something out of this is getting difficult but anyway uh i was maybe gonna try to scooch it over a little bit but i think this will work i don't mind this isn't necessarily a bad shape and it breaks this up in a nice way. Gets a good rhythm going. What else could we hit? Do I want to... Maybe. Maybe. But what angle? Yeah. Don't love it. Don't like this pinch it makes. Doesn't feel good. I think because this is coming in at an angle, this is going to be a hard one to make work. But maybe we can... Ah, uh, but then we get this. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's get rid of it. We'll cancel that one. We'll step right back out. Oop, not the base object. Alright, let me think for a moment. Let me look at this and think. I think we gotta move to the next level down. I think doing big changes is not going to work anymore. I think the whole silhouette of it is pretty much dialed in. Anything we add is going to clash with something now. Kind of a uniform density. So it's time to start thinking a little bit smaller. And I'm even going to... Oh shit, I had... Oh, excuse me. Cursed. Uh, I had instances of this so I can't edit the original object. So I was going to make it smaller just so it would be less work. Um, to do this kind of thing, but I'll just duplicate it instead. Uh, what we want to do now is like the next level down in detail. I don't know if we're quite at tertiary yet, we're still adding some big stuff, but it's uh, not going to be like silhouette dominating, not going to be a primary level thing. Man, right away, that worked. I feel like that just worked much more easily than I thought it would. Let's see, can we try a different like type of symmetry than we've been using? Let's try this. And I duplicated that off because I might want to use the same one in a few different places. Hold on, I gotta pause this. Crazy song came on. I gotta change it. Okay, we're back. No pause for you guys. But I was listening to like a Swans song, and it was like way too intense for. I feel like you know what is a ch a chill design session? Can we say that this is a chill session? Okay, I'm gonna apply that modifier. Which is that cheating? I want to apply it so that I can move it over and then do this to make this longer is that cheating if i apply the modifier am i breaking my rules because the rules were i can't change this geometry uh, and if i isn't it changing it if i have a modifier and i apply it this is now it's applying the geometry. I don't think I can do it. I can't live with myself if I do that. I'm not being honest. We can't do it. Sorry. Can't do it. It's got to be this width. It's, it's called a restriction. It's called a restriction. Can you live with a restriction? Does everything have to be your way? No. No, I don't want to be that kind of person. So we're not doing it like that. We're keeping it honest. We're not applying the modifier. That's the width we get. We're, we cannot change it. You know, deal with it. I will. I'll deal with it. I might still use this more. OK, 
Okay, kind of weird. Don't like that. Don't like that. Um, no. Eh. Whoa. No. Uh, I don't know if that'll work. That might not work at all. No, I, I do not like that curve. I just don't like it. Maybe if we... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, we can only go down this... Wait, no, we can scale it. Okay, yes, we can scale it. Here we go. Here we go. Game on. Okay, I like that. Um, let's maybe do the same kind of thing on the front here. Keep some unity in our design. Do the same kind of thing in different kinds of places. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Nope, nope. <laughs> Hard to select things through this thick wireframe jungle. See, normally, I would, if I had control, I would bevel the center stuff. I'm just not able to do that. And it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out when I can't just rely on my go-to tricks. I have to leave stuff as it lies. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, let's just use this maybe one more time. Oh, no, I can't mirror it. You know what? I'll just do this manually. Let's uh, get this in a position that we like. That's about what I was looking for. And before we apply it, we'll just have to manually instance uh, flip this. Not sure if it's vertically symmetrical, so we'll rotate it. Boom. That should be symmetrical. Yeah, it's symmetrical. Okay. And we got to apply it to the bottom too. Okay, nice. Um, kind of want to fine tune it. Hard to select. Here we go. That's the one tough thing here. Is it's kind of it gets hard to select the stuff. This is maybe a problem. Normally, when I'm I add operands one by one, I try to keep this from happening by like shrinking them close to the object. Can't do it here, but kind of interesting. It's gonna make a neat, <laughs> neat a, a neat mess at least. Kind of cool to look at. Whatever. Psh, going along smoothly. This is going so much better than I thought, than I hoped, than I prayed it would. What's next? Do we start just getting small? It's time to go. This is so early on. We're only 30 minutes in. I usually go an hour, and I feel like we don't even get as detailed as this might get in uh, 40 minutes. But what else is there to do? At a certain point, you're getting locked in. You know, primary level, you can't really change much without making it look weird. Uh, secondary level, you've locked in shapes. If you add too much, you're going to just have a noisy thing. you got to leave some planar areas. And I feel like we're getting getting about there. Maybe it's time to go small. What do you guys think? Um, okay, you know what? I think let's just move into tertiary. I don't want to let the format of the show dictate the tempo of the design, you know? No reason stuff has to be an hour. No reason. If it's feeling done at 40, if it's feeling done at 20, let's just cut it off when it feels natural. You know what I mean? We're on YouTube. We're not on uh, um, Fox. I don't know. What's, what's TV? Do you guys watch TV? There's no reason to feel confined by the medium. We have control over the length of time. Let's just do what we want with it. You know, it's 2022. Get this. Might have to do this manual symmetry more than once here.
oops, forgot to actually duplicate it. There we go. Let's see, where do we want our detail gravity? It's naturally emerging here, which is just kind of obvious. It's like the center. Uh, maybe I should expand my view. Maybe like a lot around here and then a lot around here. Right, and then we leave this kind of how it is. Look at this face, what an adorable. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll probably work. I feel like if we leave this too undeveloped and we don't do a lot of tertiary stuff, it's gonna look a little bit blocky. We got a lot of like orthogonal looking edge stuff here. Whereas this area feels nicer because it has this big curve going on. It's some nice depth with this. It just catches light better already. It doesn't really need that extra level, but I feel like these level or these areas will benefit a lot from that extra level. And we can just, you know, from it'll probably be rendered this kind of a this kind of view, and you're not going to be able to see both these sides at the same time. So I think if we detail this up a lot and detail this up a lot, it'll create a comfortable like halo or something around this, and then the middle can be uh, relatively plain, kind of as it is. <laughs> I might have to change this. This is a little... It's just such a face, but... Uh, let's keep the momentum up. We get some good momentum going here. You know, I wonder, should I... Oh. It wasn't part of the rules. I should have probably added to the rules that I can add symmetry to the base object, but I didn't say it. I did not say it at the beginning, so I'm not going to do it. We are not, we're not changing the rules midway through, okay? It's a drill. The point is to be uh, hard. Let's uh, try to make it hard. Just because we're having fun doesn't mean we go and change what the drill is. The point of the drill is to uh, challenge ourselves, so. Let's stay challenged. Okay, I'm gonna set this camera up because it's going to, as we start to work on depth features like this, the exact nature of the lighting might uh, start to matter a little more, give us ideas a little more. Because when I see this big flat shaded side, it's nice to be able to see like dark shadows as we punch deep into it. It kind of gives you a different read on the surface than when you're looking like this and it's, see, it just doesn't pop the same way. It kind of pops differently. It's like a positive ad because we're seeing this light shaded top face in here. Whereas of course it's actually dark because it's in a surface, there's ambient occlusion. Um, so let's just set this camera up and then maybe we'll work with this open going forward. I still don't know if there's, you guys saw what just happened there, right? Like I was, I set this up manually. I feel like I'm looking right at this thing. If I do this control alt zero, which is a, uh, uh, align camera to view. I feel like I should not really have to move the camera afterwards. It should just frame this thing. But if I do that, I get this. What is going on here? This isn't at all what I was... I, it's framing more than what I was looking at, but it's framing, actually framing less. So I get uh, exactly nothing that I wanted. What's going on with that? You guys know what I mean? Any Blender devs watch this? I'm, this is April 2022. Maybe in the future they fix this. You guys are going to be watching this years in the future, so you know maybe this is already fixed. Don't don't even don't even worry about this. But for you guys who are like channel stands right now, that annoys me. But anyway, no need to ramble. Let's uh let's keep the momentum up. It's late night, guys. Momentum is a precious resource at this point. <laughs> Any that we have, we gotta hold on to. Whoa. Okay. Didn't think that would happen. I love this little punch in here. It's kind of a happy accident. Okay. Is this too dramatic? Not sure. 
Oh my gosh, the same swan song just came on. Hold on a second. Okay, changed it. What an annoying... iTunes is like, you put on shuffle and it's like, oh, you want the same song to play every five minutes? Okay. In this, what, 144 song playlist? Sounds good. It's like, no, dude. I want you to shuffle it up a little. Oh, this is another thing. Looking at this uh, without any lights on is also a very good way to see depth. You can see like the darker areas in the middle of the design uh, very easily, more easily than when there's full light applied. So usually that's by accident because I'm hitting one to make the main collection my active one. Uh, when it does that, it turns off my render collection, which has my lights in it, which creates this. So to turn it all on, I have to hit like one shift three or three shift one. Um, so sometimes I just hit one and it turns my lights off, which is why that happens. But the upside of that is you get to see just the AO, which can be informative in its own way. Um, yeah, starting to ramble a lot. I think I'm getting tired, which I should be. It's healthy to be tired at uh, 2.18 in the morning. But you guys get it. It's for the love of the art. Had to do it. Had to design one. Had to knock one out. I'm glad I did this because I think this is actually proving to be a pretty cool concept for a design drill. It would be neat to see other people try this. See their takes on, uh, you know, different base shapes, different operands, but just keep the same you know, basic restrictions. I didn't think this would even look this way, but I like it. I do kind of like it. Let's get even more density in the sides here. Let's use the long, this dagger, dagger side of this thing. What, what angle is this even? Is this a 45? I don't even know if I actually made a proper... Oh, okay, yeah, I guess I did. Thank you, past self. Oh. Uh, was this going to the top or the... I can't, I don't even remember what I was intending to do with this. Oh. That's not what I was intending to do with this, but I like that, I think. Yeah, that's cool. Let's, uh, just move in that because I don't like this really thin edge, but I like this plain. I like this a lot. That's good depth. See how much shading changes we have here, but... It doesn't feel like it's happening randomly. Like, for all these edge changes, they all feel, like, appropriate and, like, considered somehow. Kind of intuition. Kind of hard to put into words, but... Might even... If I move this up... I kind of like this one, but it meets here weirdly. It doesn't, it doesn't meet it, and it overshoots it by just a tiny bit. If I move the operand up so that it meets it, then I feel like this is a little too even. I like how here it's not even. I don't want to put another one in to try to chisel this off because then we'll get a lot of random angles going. I think I need to just pick one. Oddly hard. Okay, option like C. What if we go even further down? I guess that brings that tight angle back, but maybe it's worth it for moving this connection away from this so you don't really feel a need for them to line up. Maybe that's all right. I still don't love this tight thing, but maybe uh, 
Maybe that works. I'll allow it. It's cool. I like those little moments you get with this technique where you didn't expect the result you got when you booleaned, but uh, you like it anyway. Uh, let's do some more. Some stuff in here. I don't know exactly what I want to do. I don't want to add another one of these big peg things. It's going to start to get tiresome if I repeat it a lot in the same place. You don't want to get tiresome. This is tiresome. Like this same shape appearing like five times right here. Too much. But what if we... How does this feel? Uh, okay, kind of neat. Not quite there though. Okay. Kind of epic a little bit. Let's see. Oh. Uh, you know, I like it on its own, but I don't like it in this context because it's like, so mirrored like this thing 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 you guys see that like three of kind of the same size of thing mirrored over a little annoying kind of bugs me a little bit is this cool this might be cooler i think this is the way yeah we'll go with that what was our strategy we wanted a lot of noise gravity here and a lot here and we didn't want to do much to this stuff Maybe we do something to this. I feel like this wants some kind of layering because it is such a random cut, but I think if we add something to it, something to justify why that cut is there, I think that'll be a good feeling. Let's try it out. This will not be it. I don't want this acute thing here. You see that? One funny thing with this workflow is I end up just scaling the object a lot, which normally you never do. You almost always scale on the sub-object level because you don't want your object transforms to be scaled. Because then if you add bevels, they'll be distorted as well. Like if uh, I'm only adding this to demonstrate my point. Like if I scale this a lot on the object level, and then I bevel this, see how the bevel is distorted? So if I wanted it to be even, I would have to apply the scale, then it would be even. So to avoid that, you pretty much just never scale on the object level. But with this workflow, so that's gone. I didn't add anything. So with that gone, um, with this workflow, I end up object scaling a lot. Actually, that makes me think, I said scaling is legal. So I can, Single axis scale. I hadn't even thought about this. Oh. This is a whole world of... You didn't even think about this past past me, past Ben. Ho, ho, ho. Watch this. Boom. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Such an effective boolean, it uh, broke the whole object. Okay, cube 08. Let's just make that exact. Okay. That's, oh man, this is so janky. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe this isn't... <laughs> Maybe that wasn't uh, the exact move I thought it was. Uh, okay, we'll get rid of that one, but it's still, I this is a... I hadn't even thought about that, that I could scale it on one axis. Open some stuff up. Let's do something else with it that'll be more cooperative.
uh, is that even, something's off with that, right? <gasps> okay, I was worried I'd crashed Blender there. I'm not, I'm not touching exact on this operand. It's getting janky, guys. I wonder if the object scale had something to do with that. But, uh, no crash, but I feel like we're perilously close to a crash. So, <laughs> maybe not... I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very careful with uh, what I put in going on, and I might not put in a whole lot. Just wanna... Maybe just a few more things to really get this feeling like the tertiary level is... Uh, Represented, and then we'll call this a, a day. I do not want to have a crash on this uh, 45 minutes in. You understand? Okay, so we'll just use this. We'll poke this around in a few places. Pretty much just using this uh, extrusion part as a tertiary intrusion. And what's the grammar on that? Kind of in corners near vertical changes. Let's get one more in maybe here. That'll be like supporting the corner of this object. Uh, cut in. And then let's do some... On the side here. Still in corners. Maybe there. Might be too much. It's always tricky with tertiary stuff because, like, having one too many can throw off the feel. You don't want to overdo it. Kind of neat. Do we lean into it? Um, it's kind of the same shape, which I don't like. It's technically echoing, but it also feels like clearly he just used the same shape in both places. But maybe it's worth it because it's kind of cool. Oh, it's better. That's, yeah, it doesn't hurt as much just because it's so different, the length. Yeah, I don't mind that. And how do these look? Yeah, I don't really like either of these. Don't really like either of these. What do we think? Are we good? No, we need a little something missing over here. I don't know what it is yet. But I'm gonna do some work and find out. I think I like the rest. I think this is all okay. Maybe I'll. I might. I might try a few, just a couple things here. But I think in general this is feeling okay. Um, just we want we want a little more here. It's just a little too simple and flat. This even down here is fine because of this nice depth we have here, but. Over here, I think maybe it's even just this one part is making it just feel too simple. I'm going to do something with it. It's so interesting how this makes you... Th like, if I was working normally, I would just throw in some new geo and, like, bend it around and see how it looks in the Boolean. And that's not an option, but I've already... I'm, I've almost already stopped thinking of this as a drill, and I'm just thinking of this as, like... My brain is just working within the set of rules now, which is very interesting. It's interesting how quick that adaption was. Oh. Okay. Okay, kind of, kind of cool. Yeah, I think that might be nice. Go 
Gotta mirror it. Are my mirrors holding up? I haven't checked this side in a while. Yeah, I think it's all there. Oh no, this one isn't. Shoot, which one is this? <laughs> um, <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm surprised I saved that. I wasn't sure that would work. All right, we are starting to get there. This the uh, this AO is starting to feel evenly distributed, which is a good sign. I don't know if we have to do any more here. I think this is pretty cool. I think this is working. I might uh I might call this. So let's just hide hide this guy in the render too. So there we go. What do you guys think? Fifty minutes. That okay. That ended up pretty close to an hour. Could he easily go an hour finishing off some more of these surfaces, sides, whatever, but this is going to be the shot, I think. I'm happy with it. This was a fun exercise. This was, uh, I thought it would be fun. It was fun. It went well. I might do this again. I think this is a, I might even do this just in normal, normal projects from now on. Just try, try this out. This is a good way to like get a consistent shape language across things. No, it's a different way of thinking, but I liked it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think. Did you like it? Not like it? Did you send it to a friend? Did you hit the bell? What did you do? Um, maybe you'll try it too. Anyway, I don't want to ramble any more than I already have. I got to go to bed. Uh, see you guys later.